Hey everyone, Miss A here. I'm gonna do a combo Math 43 and Math 31 video because both classes need this info. So I'm just sending one video out to everybody um, that I have in class this semester. So the first thing we wanna talk about is we are coming up on the final and I wanna make sure that you're aware of what options you have moving forward. So I wanna make sure we've heard of the extraordinary withdrawal and the pass no pass options. So because we are in COVID, uh, or really a shutdown, we every student for every class has this option called the EXW, the Extraordinary Withdrawal. And this is more powerful than a regular withdrawal because when you just withdraw, you get that W on your transcript and you don't get your, um, your, your, the money spent on the class back. And my understanding with the EXW, um, it doesn't show up on your transcript. That's that's for the first thing. It doesn't account. It doesn't count against the three attempts that you can take. Um, that you get three tries to take every class. Doesn't count against that, and you get your fees back. So I, I want to make sure that you hear you have this extraordinary withdrawal option, and you might be saying, "Well, we're past the W deadline, right? We're past the W deadline, not the extraordinary withdrawal deadline." And my understanding is that that deadline goes through the last day of the semester. So theoretically, you could take a final, right? get a grade, and if your teacher posts their grades in enough time, you can say like, hey, I passed or didn't pass. And if you didn't pass, you can take the EXW. Now, not every teacher will have their grades posted in time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. I like to get my grade done and so that I don't have to think about it. So theoretically, in this class, let's say, you take the final and you walk away with a D and you're like, I don't want that, great. You can at that point get the EXW and you can do it in a couple of ways. You can um, do it yourself on ClassWeb or if you email me so that I have written documentation of it, I can go ahead on ClassWeb and give you the EXW. So I want you to hear that you have that option. And if you have any questions on that, let me know. I'm, I'm happy to answer. Um, the other option that we have because of COVID and the shutdown is that you can take any class pass, no pass. Now, this comes with a huge caveat. Don't just assume you should. Some classes for some majors need to have a letter grade. So you wanna talk to a counselor before you just take a pass, no pass. So make sure that that's the appropriate step for you and that doesn't affect like transferring later on down the line. I don't want uh, someone to come back and say, well, you, you needed a, a letter grade in Math 43 or Math 31, and then you get into like a sticky situation for that. But I, I do want you to hear you have those options, and that's true not just for this class, but any class you're taking this semester. Um, so our final is next week. That's the last time to uh, really significantly adjust your grade. There's gonna be no grading changes after that. So that's, that's the last opportunity. Um, and then just to give you a quick reminder that both classes, you have your discussions and your solution files due this week uh, at different dates, but both of you, um, both classes have those. So make sure you're working on those. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a, a great break. It was the, I seriously think for me, it was the first time since shutdown that I didn't check email for two days in a row. Like it was amazing. I came back to a bunch of emails, but I didn't check it. Um, and that it did feel a little weird, but it was good weird. So I hope you and your families are well, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.